Hello everyone. So, I just finished phase three, which means I just finished the whole Live Hard program. And to be honest, I'm having a little bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> so, if you're new here, I talk about fitness and mental health and just, you know, a little bit of everything. So right now, the focus of this video is to talk about phase three. If you don't know what that is, it is the fourth and final part of the Live Hard program. 75 hard is first, then phase one, phase two, and phase three. If you don't know what 75 hard is, I made some other videos. So let's get into it. I have my handy dandy binder here that I have used for phase one, two, and three. I'm a very visual person, so if I don't write, <laughs> if I don't write things down and have like checklists, I will forget. And even when I write them down, sometimes I still forget. Anyways, so this is what phase three looks like. This is how I kept track of my days. Give myself a little sticker every time I finish the day. And basically I just have the date and then what number day it is of the challenge. It's basically 75 hard plus a few extra things. So I'll just go through all of them. So the same as 75 hard, you have to stick to a diet of your choice. For this phase three, I decided to give up bagels. And if you know me, bagels are pretty much my favorite thing on the planet. I gave up bagels because I wanted to see if I could do it. I did, I don't think I'll ever be giving them up again. I missed my bagels so much. I also had nothing deep fried, fruits and vegetables with every meal, no junk food snacks at all, dessert once a week, and bread once a day. And for me, I know that might not sound like a diet, but giving up those things was really, really hard for me. It's a little bit easier now that I've gone through 75 hard, but back when I started 75 hard, I was eating those things all day, every day. So it was like, it was a big change for me. Also, I love food and for me, it would be a very bad spiraling out of control. If I completely cut something out, it would just make trigger me into really bad, dangerous habits. So for me, I can't cut those things out. I moderate myself and I eat them sometimes, not as much as I used to, but for me, cutting them out would do far more damage than it would go. And I know that about myself, so that is how I'm doing it. It still was cutting back and it still was eating healthier, and that's the goal. That is the goal, to be healthier, right? Second rule, two outside workouts, two, <laughs> Two workouts, one of them has to be outside, and they both have to be 45 minutes, and they can't be back to back. Number three, five minute cold shower. Also hate these. Not because it's cold, but just because I feel like I always waited until, I, I'm a night shower, showerer, so I would always wait until, you know, nine o'clock at night to shower, and then I take a cold shower and then Number four, take a progress picture. Number five, drink a gallon of water. Number six, 10 pages of nonfiction reading. Number seven, no alcohol or cheat meals. And because, this is what I wanna clarify, because I had dessert and bread built into my diet, those aren't cheat meals. It would be cheating if I had dessert twice a week or if I ate a bagel in the morning and then had a sandwich later in the day, like that would not work, but that's how I did it. And no alcohol, because but that's not really, it's not really hard for me. If you've been here, you know, not, that's not hard for me. Number eight, three critical powerless tasks. I kept the same three that I had in phase one. I think that's when we started those. Yeah, I kept them the same because I really liked them and I didn't want to change them. Number nine, 10 minutes of dedicated visual, visualization. I also like to use this time as my manifesting time because I'm um, really into manifesting, so. Number 10, talk to a stranger. And so this had to be in person and you have to learn something about them besides just like saying hi. You have to like actually talk to them. And number 11, your random act of kindness. So those are the rules. And this phase of course is 30 days, just like phase one and two. So I'll start with the easiest part. The easiest part for me was the not drinking. That was so easy for me. Didn't even, it's not even part, it, it yeah. It, did, it wasn't even, a, that wasn't part of the challenge for me really. The hardest part for me was talking to a stranger. I have struggled with severe social anxiety since, I don't even know, since like middle school, but it got even worse in high school. Uh, so going up to just random people, it was like terrifying me. That idea terrified me. Also, I'm someone that, you know, I do my, I go to work, I come home, I work out. I don't really go out and meet people that often, especially lately because of, you know, like the pandemic. So that one was, I was really nervous about that one. And one night 
I got really close to not meeting anyone and the person that I met that night actually turned out I had met them before but I still went through that act of you know going up to someone that I thought I didn't know and I was like hey stranger introduce myself <laughs> you ask their name and whatever so the way that I kind of did that was like going to the grocery store, going to the gas station, going, you know, whatever. I, there were some times where I literally was walking on the street and I was just like, okay, who do I want to talk to? You. Hi. And I would just introduce myself and say, like, try and start a conversation. I did do that a few times and a few of the times the people did not want to, <laughs> want to interact with me, which is fine. I guess kind of weird if like a random person comes up to you, but that's how I did it. The easiest ways were grocery store, gas station, or just like any store. It was hard, but I did it. Um, I guess I can talk about like the whole, live hard as a whole. Yeah, that's what I'll do this part. So this, this section of the video I'll be talking about, the whole live hard program. When I think about the hardest phase, I think 75 hard and phase three were I mean, they were all difficult in their own way. 75 hard was difficult in that I'd never done it before and it was kind of getting into that lifestyle that was challenging, but phase three was like 75 hard on steroids. It There's just so many more aspects to it and I am hesitant to say that 75 hard was the hardest because it was not as challenging as phase three, but you know what, I'll say logically phase three was the hardest because it had so many more things, but I would say 75 hard was like the second hardest because it was hard to just like get started. Easiest phase for sure was phase two because that was basically just 75 hard, but for 30 days. The easiest part definitely of the whole, the whole thing was the not drinking. I'm not a big drinker, but sometimes I guess getting both workouts in was really hard. I don't know, the, it, there were every aspect, it really depended on the day. Sometimes it would be really hard to drink all my water. Sometimes it would be just, I would have a long day and I would get home and I would be in bed ready to fall asleep and realize, oh my God, I didn't read today. I have to wake myself up and be sitting there like, like literally like trying to keep myself awake to read my book and then there were some days where I just didn't feel good and I didn't want to take a progress picture I didn't want to look at that it was all challenging it just really depended on the day that being said I strongly recommend this program it changed my life I don't know how else to say it that's that's it that's <laughs> that's the deal I started 75 hard on a whim it was a completely impulsive decision I decided at around two o'clock in the afternoon and spent a couple hours, you know, like organizing myself and getting ready and then I just somehow did it that first day with, which I mean, 2 p.m. That's a kind of a late start to, to my day for me because I wake up at like six o'clock every day. So uh, where there's a will, there's a way. And I am a completely different person. I've met so many people. I have stopped posting on social media as much which is interesting. I kind of thought I would post more because I had more interesting thoughts and more, you know, I'm not just posting my salads. Like I'm posting like, hey, look at this cool workout that I did. But I think this program really gave me that confidence of, okay, I don't really need the validation of all these people. Yeah, it's fun to like connect and share things on social media. But when I would do that before, it was really coming from a place of, okay, I need to get a certain number of likes because that's the validation that I need. But now it's more, okay, I know that I'm doing all these things. I don't really care if other people like it or not. Like I'm doing this for me. And if other people want to follow along, great but I'm not putting myself out there because I want to get other people's opinions, you know? I'm doing this, I'm putting this out there because I think that it's a really awesome program and I wanna spread the word and I wanna share my experience. If I get two views on this video, great. It's It doesn't matter to me because I, through this program, I've grown immensely. Like, if you knew me a year ago, no you didn't. Not really. And also, I do recognize that I am in my 20s and this is a crazy, time of growth and change and bah but i do credit 75 hard to a lot of that change if i wasn't reading all these books and make trying to make myself better every day i don't know man that's just my opinion that's what i think will i do it again uh yeah i i will i kind of want to take a little bit of a break to see okay how long can i go with this momentum and see where it gets me my other problem is if i started 75 hard when i got 
back from Alaska, it would interfere with the Jewish high holidays. And if you are not aware, one of those days you have to fast from sundown to sundown, you can't work out, you can't do any of those things. So I would not be able to do the tasks for that day. So it's just kind of mm, difficult. So I'm not sure when I'll start again or what I will do, but I will do it again because I think it's just fun. I love it. I mean, I do plan on keeping this lifestyle up, just not quite as strict. I will indulge in some adult beverages and I will have a few bagels now and again, but overall I think this is pretty much the way my lifestyle has turned out to be and I love it. So long story short, yes, I will be starting again. I just don't know when that when will be. Well. I think that is a wrap. We'll call it a day there. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I got a blog. I got this video. I got all the socials. Come up to me in person and ask me whatever you want. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it and maybe start 75 hard yourself. And if you made it to this point all the way through this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you when I see you.